Hello everyone, my name is Daniel from PRN Taiwan. Today we have the great honor to be on live stream with Mr. Peter Tsai, General Manager of Genius Machinery, one of the main actors in the recycling industry in Taiwan. Hello Mr. Peter. Hi Daniel. How are you today? Fine. It's a great honor to have you here today. Hey, Mr. Peter, could you introduce your company? Hi everyone, I'm Peter, the General Manager of Genius Machinery. Our company was founded in 1975 and is located in Taizong city of Taiwan. We are the leading recycling machine manufacturer in Taiwan, with more than 45 years of experience in the industry. We have experts in our design team who specialize in customizing machines to meet our customers' needs and preferences. And we also have our own processing equipment in our factory. Mr. Peter, what are the main products the Genius Machinery Manufacturer. Our main products are plastic recycling machines, plastic washing plant, palletizing system, drying machine of plastic washing line. Additionally, we also produce shredder and crushers. Oh, very interesting, Mr. Peter. Talking about that, what are your most popular machines? Our popular machines are Crico Series Counter Compactor Recycling Machine, Reco Series Recycling Machine with four feeder on the side, and DW series squeeze dryer. Mr. Peter, you mentioned about your Krieger series. Can you explain us more about those machines? Uh, Krieger series is suitable for both crushed rigid scraps and the floppy scraps. The capacity of this series is from 80 to 1500 kg per hour. It's depending on the model. Uh, the feeding device sends the material to the cutter compactor, which has different functions such as crushing, drying, and compacting the materials. 
It steadily sends material into the extruder. Uh, and also there are three cooling sections, the air and water cooling for the compactor body and uh, the water spraying for material cooling. The operator can set the temperature of each to stably control the compactor's temperature. Mr. Peter, Eureka series are recycling machines with four feeder. Can you explain us the future of these machines? Record series recycling machines are equipped with the four side feeder, which have smaller motors and high torque reducer. The crushed rigid scraps are sent into the extruder steadily. If you recycle the rigid and the crushed scraps only, this model will be the best. It can save much energy in processing. Mr. Peter, your Krager and Rico series are well recognized in the industry. Is there any specialty on them? For both Krager and Rico series, we install a degassing system. The gas and moisture are released from the vent. It helps the main extruder to produce better homogeneous polymer. An optional vacuum system is available to increase and the degassing effect. And we have different kinds of filters. One is the DOP stone filters, which have larger filtration areas. From our experience, it could provide up to three times the filtration capacity than the pure plate filter. Furthermore, the dual piston installation ensures that at least one more flow runner is working while changing the mesh to minimize the lumps lost during the process. We also cooperated with European companies who manufacture self-cleaning filtration systems like Femic or Atlinger. And regarding the pelletizing system, we provide different solutions for different materials. One of the most popular pelletizing system is the hot die cutting device with a universal join design that adjusts the blades automatically during operation, making its service life longer. The final plastic pellets are also in uniform size, making its value higher, therefore generating more profit. You also mentioned about your DW series squeeze dryers. These are very popular in different sectors of the industry. Can you give us a little bit more insight about this? Yes, our DW series squeeze dryer has a specially designed screw that removes water from the washed fluffy scraps. The moisture of end product after squeeze drying is lower than 3%, which could help increase the efficiency of the recycling system by 10%. Some of our customers recycle dirty plastic films. They normally buy squeezers to reduce moisture of the washed plastic films. After the moisture has been removed, the products are better compacted and more solid. The customer can then recycle this squeezed material by just using our Reco series. They don't need to use the color compactor recycling machine, therefore saving energies. Mr. Peter, usually one of the main questions of customer is what materials can be processed in different machines? How about your machine? Uh, general plastic. Most of our customers, they recycle uh, PE, PP, PS, PC, PET, ABS, materials and so on. It may be clean or dirty. It may be fluffy or rigid. If the material are still dirty after washing, contain labels or other unnecessary stuff, 
you can do a two-stage recycling process to fill them twice to ensure nothing is left anymore. Sir Peter, what makes Genius Machines different from other competitors? We make sure that we meet the customer's back and needs. We continue innovating our machines. We make changes constantly. We add new features and functionalities. The old client and can see the difference between our older and new models. We also specialize in customizing machines that according to the customer's material. The most important value is we take pride in our unparalleled after sales service. Mr. Peter, what is your strongest market right now and in which countries do you have agents or representatives in? Oh yes, uh, as shown in the map, uh, years ago we started selling to Southeast Asian countries. We have also sold many machines to European countries like Germany, Spain, Romania, and so far we have many success stories in the world. In the last few years, we collaborated with agents from different countries. Our strongest markets are Japan, Russia, and Malaysia. Our agents in this market are very knowledgeable with our machines and are able to help our customers with the installation and the operation, which are the crucial part for the customers. Is there a specific market you are trying to develop business in? Uh, we are currently eyeing strengthening our business in Latin America. As it's a big market and we have actually already made sales in those countries like Brazil, Ecuador, Peru and so on. Mr. Peter, nowadays what are the main challenges in the industry? Uh, yes, a lot of uh, industry have been struck by this current pandemic and unfortunately, ours is one. This year, our team cannot visit customers abroad, and we cannot display our machine in the exhibition. Uh, it's not easy to present our machine uh, without participating in them. Our similar events were cancelled this year. Mr. Peter, how are you coping with these challenges? Uh, yes, uh, we have been trying different methods to reach out to the customers and provide support like online conferencing. Fortunately, we still have some sales this year, particularly from the existing customers and those who already discussed with us prior to the pandemic. I'm glad to hear that you still get some order from previous customers, but how about new customers? We didn't get to visit new customers this year. Uh, at the moment, uh, it's not as busy as it's used to. And we have more time, we have been focusing on the innovation of our machines. Uh, we are using this time to develop new machines with the higher capacity and the better quality. Yeah. Mr. Peter, one of the main concerns of international customers is how they are going to install their machines. Since there are many countries where foreign visitors are not allowed, what is your solution to this problem? Oh yes, we figured out a way to solve this problem. We used to go to the customer site to install the machines. But due to the current global travel restrictions, we are unable to and decided to take a full video of installation and operation for their reference. We also sent them the user's manual. Additionally, they can reach us anytime if they have further questions. Mr. Peter, what are the trends in the industry right now? Uh, the current European strategy for plastic is beneficial to our business and industry. As people are focusing more on plastic recycling, the circular economy action plan is a very important matter to the environment, government, household, and of course our industry. In the future, all plastic products must be mixed with a certain amount of recycled material. Therefore, the recycling industry is very promising and growing daily. I would like to know which channels can customers use to find you? The customer can find us on different platforms online. 
uh, we have a YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Instagram. You can also find us by Search Engineers Machinery on the internet or Google. And well, Mr. Peter, thank you very much for your time today and also for your sharing about the current situation and coming future in the industry. And also thank you everyone that watched this live stream today. And Mr. Peter, as a conclusion, I would like to know if you want to say some words to your current and potential customers that are watching us right now. Uh, yes, it may not be easy, but we will rise above this pandemic. And I believe that the worst is actually already over. As a matter of fact, customers are already starting to prepare building for a new production lines. And furthermore, uh, Genius has continued innovating its machinery through the industry cycle to assure our products meet the needs of our customers. Today and in the future, Genius Smart Recycling System will help you reach the top of plastic recycling. Our mission is Smart Recycling, the Genius Way. You know, Peter, thank you very much for your time today. And also, everyone, please see if you want to comment or inquire about Genius Machinery, please comment below. And we welcome you to watch some videos about Genius Machinery right now. See you next time.